Please speak louder, Imran. I've got two questions which is uh, intertwined. Okay. Okay, uh, I agree with you that much of the distortion of the Islamic image is uh, done by the Western media, but at the same time, I also think that uh, much of it is caused by the Muslims themselves. See? Uh, I think if we understand that, uh, according to the Christian scriptures, it says that Jesus said that by the fruits we shall know them. So that by the fruits we shall know them. So that is why they are judging us by the products that we produce. So my question number one is, how much have the Muslims actually done to, to actually project a healthy image of Islam? Okay? And then uh, I met with an American friend of mine, and he says that you see the Muslims they are always judging on us, the West. Okay, they are always saying that we are low in mor morals and such. But what the West need is actually a solution to it. And then uh, he said that when he ponders upon the, uh, the Muslim countries, there is so much corruption in Pakistan, there is so much violence in the Middle East that it doesn't give a healthy image of Islam. Okay. Uh, so he was wondering how much does bringing Islam to the West will make sure that it will not fall into the same category as the Muslim countries. So Dr. Zaki, my, my next question is that while the Da'is are travelling around the world to spread the good image of Islam, how much are these Da'is actually doing to actually correct the Muslims' misconceptions themselves and talk to people like Usama Ladin or to the Taliban, etc. and say to them that, look, no matter how good your intention is, what you are doing is damaging to Islam. Thank you. So there are two questions. The first question that, you know, if you see that there are many Muslims who are bad, Pakistan corruption is there, etc., the Islam the is being spoiled. So he's asking the question that the non-Muslim mainly pick up these people and they say that, you know, if Islam is good, then how come the Muslims are bad? And I believe I've given the answer to this question. If you heard my second last answer, it's the same answer, that don't judge a car by the driver. Don't judge Islam by what Muslims are doing. What they're doing? They are picking up black sheep and portraying them. Corruption in Pakistan, Muslim country, who says a Muslim country? Muslim country means follow the Quran and the Sunnah. Muslim in namesake can be possible. I know that there is corruption in Pakistan, I have been to Pakistan. But just because there is corruption, that doesn't mean that Muslims are corrupt as a whole. A yeah, few people in Pakistan may be corrupted, they may be more, but if they are corrupt, Go to the Quran. Quran says in Surah Baqarah, chapter number 2, verse number 188, that do not squander your wealth on vanities. Do not use your wealth as a bait for the judges, in order you may eat other people's wealth. Bribery is harm in Islam. The second question. What are the da'is doing to remove this misconception? From the Muslims. Why and they make never the Muslims? Brother, I can speak on my behalf. I can't speak on the other da'is. Alhamdulillah, if you see my cassettes, I have spoken on this topic for Middle in Islam, Al Quran, Shri Vizal, understanding, dietary laws. My topics are both address non Muslims as well as Muslims, making them more aware. Many Muslims don't even know the rights which Islam gives to the women. Many Muslims leave aside non Muslims. So I educate them also and I do dawa, Islam and dawa together. Regarding values, you can refer to my video called Islam Introduction, where I have given the basic values. I have spoken not to bribe, not to have alcohol, not to cheat, etc. Quran says in Surah Ghaisha, chapter number 88, verse number 21, For your job, O Prophet, is to deliver the message, admonish them. You are not a person who is going to look into their affairs. Our job is to deliver the message. Whether anyone accepts Islam or not, that's in the hands of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Our job is to deliver the message. I have delivered you the message. Whether you follow or not, that's your problem. So our job as guys is to deliver the message of Islam in the best way we can, with hikmah. Whether you agree or not, Allah will question you. Regarding telling Osama bin Laden and Taliban what they are doing is damaging Islam, etc. Whether that is your view. That is your view that Osama bin Laden and Taliban are damaging Islam. See, for the haqq, you mentioned the glorious Quran in Surah Nisa chapter number 4, verse 135, it says that, Ya yo lazina amanu, oh you believe. Stand out firmly for justice as witness to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala even if it be against yourself, against your parents, against your kith and kin, whether it be the poor or the rich, Allah protects both. Now what we read in the papers, the Taliban is bad, Taliban is good, you know, we read in the paper, oh, Taliban, they are ill-treating the women, etc. I am not a person who is an expert on politics. I am a die. I am a die. I am not an expert on politics. But there are experts. If you ask my view, about Taliban. You know, Quran says in Surah Hujra, chapter 49, verse number 6, that before you pass on the message, you verify whether it's right or wrong. I read in the papers 
in the paper that the Taliban, oh, they are very ruthless people, you know. They said, all women should stop walking. They should stop walking and they should sit at home, finish. I read it, right or wrong, Allah alam. I read the news from America. In Taliban, they said that it is not good for the women to go out and work because the atmosphere is not modest. We will see to it that they receive their salary at the doorstep. If my sister was living in Afghanistan, and if someone tells me that mostly outside is not good, I will give you a salary at the doorstep. Is it good or bad? If your sister was there in Afghanistan, and if someone says, you know, that mostly there is outside is bad, we will give your sister salary at doorstep without working. Which would you prefer? I am not telling which news, I don't know which news is correct. So I am not saying Taliban is good or bad. I get two different news. But before you ever make a comment, that teach these people, Allah will question you. Did you check up the news? So you as a Muslim saying that Osama bin Laden is right or wrong. Have you checked up? What we pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, let me Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala guide them on the straight path. You know, as I said, bombing in Nigeria, American consulate, Osama bin Laden, headline. Did or not? We don't know. But if you ask my view, if he's on the truth, if he's fighting the enemies of Islam, I'm for him. I don't know what he's doing. I'm not in touch with him. I don't know him personally. I read newspapers. If he's terrorizing the terrorist, if he's terrorizing America, the terrorist, biggest terrorist, I'm with him. Every Muslim should be a terrorist. The thing is that if he's terrorizing a terrorist, he's following Islam. Whether he is or not, I don't know. So don't go and tell outside that Zakir Naik is for Osama bin Laden. I'm with him if he's terrorizing the terrorist. I am with him and I will do dhuas for him. If he is not, I am against him. I don't know what he is. I cannot base my judgment as a da'i only on news. But you as a Muslim without checking up, laying allegations also wrong. So I am with those people who are following the Quran. Even if the full world is against them, I am with them. You know, because Quran says in Surah Al-Imran chapter number 3, verse number 160, it says that if Allah helps you, no one can overcome you. If Allah forsakes you, who will help you then? So let the believers put their trust in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala.